Hello YouTube, just a little garden update. I'm gonna get the greenhouse in here too. Um, it is July 20th and uh, absolutely amazing the uh, how things have gone this year. We have gotten rain pretty much every week. Timely rains, not too much rain like we've had south of us. Uh, that's something I have to do is go check my rain gauge. But uh, anyway, the harvest has been very, very well gone very well so far first thing we've been harvesting has been cucumbers we've been picking them every day so that they don't get too big on us last week we were gone to um, the uh, Black Hills on a short vacation it was only five days we were gone but uh, yeah uh, the cucumbers got rather large on us we thought we would have somebody come over and pick them but I didn't have and then take them what they wanted to but we didn't have any takers so uh that's that's the way it goes uh here's my i guess big disappointment i guess is uh the uh the beets have been great and everything like that but this section right here just got away from us as far as weeds goes and uh and that's that's been one of my big disappointments uh, now there's a saying about corn, and uh, I find that it's true, but my nephew uh, pointed this out to me that corn loves company, and that is absolutely true because if you look here, uh, all this corn that's together, it's definitely doing very well. I did not fertilize this. I thought about fertilizing it, and I'm glad I didn't. But uh, very, very nice looking patch of corn. This one is going to be harvested for our local community uh, harvest festival. And uh, I think we'll get, I think we'll have plenty of corn for that. Uh, now this has been gone through and weeded and, uh, and we just lay the weeds down in the middle of the rows and let the corn feed off of that. So rather than the weeds feed off the corn so, but here's the corn loves company a little parable here or saying, if you look at this one stalk of corn, and I guess it's really no different than some of these end ones here. And it could be just the soil too, but uh, it seems like when you gather corn together in like a hill and stuff like that, it seems to do better. I'm not exactly sure why, but the old saying, I guess, corn loves company. On to the next garden. Yes, here's my uh, north garden here, and this is the one I put the containers in. I see that the, we have to go through and do some more weeding, and it should be fairly easy because they are fairly been taken care of as far as rain is concerned. But look at those onions, aren't they beautiful? These are the copra variety. I've never seen copras get this big before, so... This has really been a plus to have them in raised gardens. I think I'm going to build a few more of these for the other garden or another spot. Got to get rid of these weeds here. And uh, dill, look at the dill. This is the dill that volunteered over. They say if you get a dill patch started, you never have to plant it again. So uh, I made a mistake of planting more dill over here. and. Uh, Weeds kind of got away from me here, but there is dill coming up in between it. Weeds, I love weeds, huh? Here are my pepper plants. Uh, yeah, I'm getting some. I'm getting some production here. Another weed. Uh, thistles, everything. You got a jalapeno plant in the middle of each one of these. They kind of uh, will uh, start producing towards the later part of the uh, summer. But uh, as you can see, I do have some nice green peppers. Started there, lay them in there a little longer, and they'll they'll turn red. But uh, here's my cabbage here. That uh, I'm not sure if that's kind of looks like it's bolting, but I think I'm just going to hang on here, and uh, I think it'll do fine after a bit here. More onions. Looks like I have to start harvesting these. I'm kind of disappointed in this particular variety. I can't remember what I have in here, but but uh, I think these were some that were supposed to get rather large, and they didn't. 
Here's some more over here. I'll leave them go until the uh, um, tops get um, are dead, I should say, and then uh, harvest those, hang them or something. And uh, anyway, here are my uh, volunteer uh, pole beans. As you can see, that they're uh, budding and everything, and so I should start seeing some uh, actual. Uh, yeah, here we go. Here's a here's a bean right here. We need to start picking these. Picking these. Okay, there you go. Sound kind of weird, but not a dog, I guess. Picking these. But that is my back garden. I'll show you what's going on with the green. Okay, in the greenhouse. Uh, again, July 20th. Got to do some more weeding. It's just ridiculous. Uh, next year, I'm going to definitely put a weed block down. And uh, as I've had it with the uh, weeds in here, having to weed inside of a greenhouse, that's just ridiculous. But at least I'm not weeding inside of my tomatoes here. So I don't have to fight the weeds with the tomatoes. I don't have to worry about that. So anyway, uh, things are going pretty good. These two plants here, tomato plants, I got to get in here and cut some of the suckers off. And I have to uh, take in clip all my tomatoes.